thunderstorms coming in, but it looks like you get a dawn patrol in. It'll fly around a little bit for fun before I take wings off, take it up to Dayton, Ohio, where I can put the long wings on and test stall speed and weights and whatnot. So, we'll put a little cheese. Good morning to all my 13 YouTube followers. I'm up in Dayton now, and I'm just gonna do the voiceover on a video of my last uh, flight with the short wing and the Merlin Light at South Lakeland Airport. And this is coming in at the 45 second mark, just taking off. And uh, don't pay too much attention to that speeds of the Garmin Verb. For some reason, it, it was way off. Now it seems to be working okay. Climbing out at 40 miles an hour, that's about right. Mm, that's a little low, it's probably closer to 55. I put the door on, I'm not sure why. It doesn't make much difference. Can't really tell, but it just feels a little better sometimes when I'm turning to the right. <clears throat> so I really had, to, had a whole lot of, on the flight plan ticket for this flight. <clears throat> I just wanted to fly. And I wanted to uh, test the, the prop pitch I've been playing with. And I'm demonstrating here uh, how perfectly trimmed the airplane is. I could fly it for hours without having to touch the stick. It's just like the Merlin. Just um, if, a, if a little turbulence uh, lifts the wing, you can just bring it back with the rudder. So you can see I have full fuel. I'm making some um, 30 degree banks. I'm not very high, I'm just, I'm not doing any stalls. I'm just uh, getting a good shot of my feet. And uh, it, you'll see that the temperatures, the RPMs are pretty, are really quite good. The sound level's low, I don't even wear a headset. From the wingtip, I'm making a selfie of me making a selfie. I always thought that was cool. Selfie squared. And um, yeah, the, the altitude of about 1,000 feet is correct. I think I'm going faster than 46 miles. Well, maybe, I'm, I'm, yeah, that's probably about right. Because there's some uh, a little bit of a headwind as I'm flying to the south there. Just making circuits, circles around playing with my phone. So we're showing a, a 400, 300, 400 feet a minute climb. I was up to 600 when I was taken off the airport. I haven't figured out core flight, but I can navigate looking out the window too. So there was 500 feet a minute at uh, 7,900 RPM. That's, that's um, I, I fine tuned the the prop, I've made it a little bit finer by one degree for my Dayton test, as I want to get maximum climb, and, uh, which is closer to 70, between 75 and even 8,000 RPM. And if I get a close up of the temperatures, you'll see they're right in the middle. It is perfectly cooled, not an issue. So having a cowl on won't make much difference. In fact, it might be better to so direct the airflow more on the, on the radiator. And that's in Florida temperatures too. People ask about cabin heat, and uh, that will be an option. We'll have a cuff on the muffler. And I'm probably taking videos or sending text messages. I shouldn't be flying and texting, I know. Let's see where we are on the film. About the five minute mark. Straight and level. Cruise is about uh, 75 miles an hour at 7,500 RPM. 
I mean, slow it down a little bit. Very comfortable, very smooth. You know, that, that, that Polini is a is very nice ending. You know, I feel comfortable flying it. I like that EFIS. G meter, vertical speed, ground speed, heading, pressures, altitudes. You know, GPS built in. Temperature was, oh, I missed it. Let's see it. So now I'm in Dayton, and I'll uh, give you a tour of the hangar coming up. But first we'll finish this video. Just ruined it with a selfie. Pretty simple panel. 360 tour. Trims perfectly. It's a joy to fly. Good roll rate. Very responsive. It's a lot like the Merlin. There's 68 miles an hour with 6,600 RPM. Full fuel doesn't matter. One tank. Um, so it's slightly asymmetric, but you can't notice. You let go of the stick, it flies perfectly full fuel or, or half fuel. And there's no fuel in the other wing tank. I don't have that uh, hooked up. It'll be over the five gallon limit. It's just there for people who want to fly outside part 103, maybe make it experimental. <clears throat> at paint, at uh, more options, tricycle gear. More instruments in the panel. So that, that experimental option is available. Okay, finally, final. Looks like I've got uh, full flaps in, and I'm not going 15 miles an hour. My approach is, is at 55, maybe going down to 50 over the fence, and then just hold it off, and we'll tuck down about 33 in that range. The long wing course will bring it even slower. Hold it off, and... Everything lands at the same time. And only one landing that time. And it certainly doesn't take long to stop. Great, great breaks. So now I'll do my post flight brief. Well, that was an enjoyable flight right before the lines of thunderstorms come in. I did some video with my phone in the cockpit to record the temperatures and RPMs and uh, speeds and uh, some turns and, and roll rates and some general uh, climbs and cruises. Uh, stats were, were pretty good. I was getting over 600 feet a minute climb with, uh, with the flaps in and 500 without and a cruise of pretty much what I had before. The, the prop is a little bit finer pitch than I had. Um, and I mean a little bit coarser, so I think it'd be a little bit better climb if I made the pitch a little bit finer and I'd still get the same cruise. But all in all, it's pretty good. Now it's time to take the wings off because the new long wings are finished. And I'm quite interested to see that uh, lower stall speed down. Down Right now I'm in the, in the low to mid 30s, as you can see from the GPS telemetry. And I need to get down a little bit more than that, and I'll be good to go for part 103. Chipper Irwin Aero Marines. Here's the panoramic tools, instruments getting queued up for the next build, props. One Merlin with a 582 almost finished, another Merlin with the HKS with the IFR and oxygen nearly finished in the back, the Merlin light, and uh, the wings for another Merlin going to Texas. A fuselage I had to move next door. Just got too busy in here. So the Merlin light wing, the long wing is getting ready to be installed. I should have it on by this weekend. Looking very nice. We got the prop adjusted. We've got the floats in the back. Lots of stuff going on here. Probably wondering all the, all the batteries are for, but 
we'll have to uh, report on that later. Chip Irwin signing off, Aero Marine, Dayton, Ohio.